here from Echo for for Studios and today's zero zero webfest .com tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up a park domain. What a park domain is is the idea if you have like one of their free subdomains. For example, we're going to be putting a uh, top level domain on top of a one of their free subdomains, which is echo four for .com. The idea of a park domain is that you can uh, park this other domain on top of .com or .net or whatever, and still be able to see the same content. It works like a forward, but it's better because it doesn't forward the other one. It is the other one because it's on top. So the first thing you can do is register whatever you want to set up for this. We're going to use .tk. We're using test test two .tk because it's available. And then when it comes down to here, one you have a couple of options for DNS and forwarding. Uh, this you can forward straight to the main instead of doing a park. For this one, we want to choose user own DNS. You want to put in the 00repos.com's uh, domain name servers, which are those two. They're available on the site, or you could look them up in the forum. Uh, the registration link for this we can use a month, up to in a month, or one year, and then just register uh, re. re rolls over free anyway and then obviously the uh, verify human code. Once you've done that, click uh, click next, it'll say you've successfully added this domain to your account, which is gonna go over to there. And because we've already put in the DNS settings, which is somewhere here, I'm just gonna go modify, just check that they are in there. As you can see they're in here. We're gonna close that. We don't do anything there now. And you want to go over here, you want to select your subdomain or your domain in some cases, which gonna use and you want to go to park domains on the uh, control panel which is uh, second box down from the top uh, there, you can't really miss it. You just want to put in the name to test test 2.tk. It doesn't matter if it's in capitals or not, it'll go to lowercase straight away, obviously. And you can see here, uh, the domain, main test test 2.tk has been parked on top of echo442.pira.com. It's important thing now that you update the DNS settings to the domain, which we've already done, but you can update them again. If you do not, if you will, if you will not update the set, um, DNS names, in uh, seven days, it'll be on that unparked automatically. For this, we've already uh, done that. And this is where things get a bit iffy because this could take. This may not actually go straight to it because it will take time for the DNS settings to uh, update. But we're going to see. It might might just give us out a completely irrelevant page. As you can see, it doesn't actually exist yet. So it'll take time for the domain to come through. But once it's all the DNS settings have been set up properly, in theory, I had a problem doing this the other week for some reason. Uh, with it all set up right, because don't change anything in here now, just leave it as it is, give it uh, an hour, sometimes it will work, it normally takes anywhere between 15 minutes to an hour to three days, it just depends, really, and it should work, once it does work, you can uh, tell people this shorter address, or whatever it will be, instead of the long one with this horrible subdomain, because some of them are like uh, not very nice, so guys, that's how to set up a park domain on 0 0 remember to check out the rest of the previous video, on the left and the rest of the playlist from the rest of the videos in the zero zero webpost.com playlist and uh, remember to subscribe and I'll see you around.